guys, this is amazing right here to me. Now, this is today. Look at the right side of this. It's dark purple and almost black. That is very unusual. That indicates, if you look at this chart in the bottom right of this particular model, very, very low energy. I've never seen it before in my life. I mentioned it before. Also, that red line is where the white curved line that is our, our magnetopause is usually at. So it's about, it's pushed closer to the earth by two points here. But we've seen that before. But this, what we're seeing now, guys, is unprecedented in my seven years of watching this particular model. Normally, the outside of this is blue. And I'm going to go back to just seven days ago. When we started getting that solar wind st uh, stream coming in and elevating at very high uh, speeds, how everything changed on this chart. The, the graph here even changed that you measure it by. But again, 12 is right there. That's normally where your white curve line is. Also, look at the coloration in this. Remember, it, it's already open beyond blue into the dark purple and almost black in several areas. This indicates low energy. That's not good for our shields. That means any solar stream, any activity, any gamma ray energy, any thing coming from outside our solar system, like a gamma ray burst, would be extremely dangerous. A solar flare at this point. Let's go back to 6-1, guys. Just seven days ago, see how blue this is out here? Notice your chart in the bottom. It doesn't have the purple in it right there that is not in existence this is how it's always been you, you, you'd see the flare-ups and you would see the flexing and the bending but we had that much energy involved in this torrent coming from the sun that activates our shields so the weaker that energy is the weaker our shields and we have CERN running again but look at this guys coming into the second late into the first when we saw that solar stream hit Watch the coloration start changing and the lowering of the energy. It's like this is swept so much back behind the earth as it's becoming darker and darker. The energy is lowering. Now you still have a pretty good purple base there. But guys, again, back it up. 6-1, everything changed. Right here at this frame at 1421 Universal Time. I've never seen it happen before and it indicates not higher energy but lower energy which is devastating for our shields. You can see some of the manipulation from CERN during that time. We covered it, but it gets worse than this. Let's go back to today. I mean, excuse me, starting yesterday it's on the 7th. Look at the entire charts changed. None of that bright blue. None of it. Guys, this is not good. Again, you've got to think of the Earth as a dynamo or electric motor. The North Pole and the South Pole is where you would connect the current. And the less current, the slower the motor goes. The slower, the weaker the shields become. And the shields are a reaction to the spinning of the Earth's dynamo. They're created at that point. But let's look at this. To the left, today on the 8th, look at the coloration of the low energy outside of our magnetopause. And inside now, because of that. Let's go back on the right picture. 6-1, 2018. Totally different picture. I've never seen what we're seeing now. 